Hi and welcome back to another video of F1 Manager 2022 and this is our final episode of our GoTifi series. Yes, Nicholas Latifi is leading the Drivers' Championship by 26 points with two races to go. If he gets one point more than Charles Leclerc in this race, he will be champion. So at the end of the last episode, a very eventful race, we made our underfloor, so let's let's get that on now. And we have a development point for the goat, the TV. Let's put it in cornering. That's great. So we are ready to move on to Interlagos, Brazilian Grand Prix. Let's go. All right, that is practice done, and once again, 100% confidence all around. Fantastic. Now we've got a little bit of rain on the qualifying sessions here, so let's see how that goes. I'm sure that won't be too much of a problem, but um, yeah, let's get into it. And final run in Q3. We are in wet weather here, intermediate time running but we're in first and third currently no more rain okay with the water levels really maxing out nobody improving on their time so that's fine first and third on the grid there's no rain forecast for the race so that's fine let's split the strategies push off the line and um, yeah, let's do it. And now it's time for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Get away well, straight away. Let's see if he's putting pressure on Max. into first and second like I said it's where we wanted to be he's the goat he knows what he's doing on the right side of the track and we can bring this down a little already opening up a one second gap to Verstappen not quite um yeah let's let's just push it just to open up a gap for, before DRS comes online So Verstappen closes up on the back of Latifi, who's dropped off from Leclerc. Not, not great. Max now obviously going to get DRS through here and get past, most likely. Yep. Can Latifi fight back though? Can. does eventually get through there and this battle continuing for quite a number of laps as we catch up to the back of Leclerc who is entering the pit window for his strategy Max has built up a, a four second lead there which 
Oh, in fact, he's just come in to his pit stop. I'm box. And we will pit this box, lap. Box. And his lead was enough to come out in clean air, a good distance ahead of Leclerc, who got held up, unfortunately, by that traffic. Latifi then pits. Looks like there's been a lockup. As does Perez. And Latifi comes out behind Leclerc. Fairly, fairly close. And Latifi there just goes straight past Leclerc with ease. I didn't. Just took that off, didn't I? Beat up a stake. there locks up. Someone spun out. Oh, and Verstappen spins. We can take a look now. From now the lead. Max Verstappen. And it's what that old one again. Shh. Shouldn't cost him too much time, he will probably stay in the lead. Which he does. Declare then. Six seconds behind Latifi, having locked up his another eight seconds behind him in third. With 20 laps to go. Fastest lap from Leclerc. He is, uh, he is going for it. Oh, the keep is locked up. Let's have a look. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. They're forced wide, and there doesn't, we can see them. Doesn't hit a wall, so. They've locked up and gone straight. It's good, off. although Perez now though is right behind him, and that could be a, a very costly lockup. Locked up twice in this race. Trying, uh, trying to keep things interesting, isn't he? Making Leclerc think he's got a got a chance in this championship. And Perez surely now will open up the DRS and get past. He does. Tries to fight back though, goes around the outside. Nice little battle here. Perez is really sticking with him though. And Ferrari, advance the race position. Can't make it stick, but surely now we'll get the uh, DRS on the uh, the home straight. Doesn't get past though. <clears throat> so yeah, unable to fight back really. The update of 1.11 I think reduced the, the impact of DRS. So that really, uh, you know, is probably would have uh, got past on the previous version, but stays stays in fourth for the time being. Perez on the slightly better tyre and. Looks like a fourth place finish at this point. Last lap. Uh, Verstappen on the last lap. And Latifi starts his last lap. Oops. Verstappen wins. Leclerc in second. Over the finish line and, and today's winner. Check it flag. Perez and Latifi in Let's fourth. Go. Fourth it's place. So title fight very much alive into the final race of the season uh, second and fourth gap is closed to 19 points so still a very strong position to be in 
for Latifi, the goat, as we go into the final race. Very, uh, fairly uneventful, just a couple of lockups really from from Latifi that really cost him third. Um, but that's fine. I'm sure, he's, uh, I'm sure he's got it in the bag for Abu Dhabi, the final race. Um, and there's nothing really to do but go to do the race. And yeah, Abu Dhabi, let's go. And that is uh, practice done. And once again, 100% confidence set up both drivers. 100% throughout the entire season. That is the Latifi influence. What can you say? He is the GOAT. Without a doubt. And let's just make sure we get these engine parts back on. Leclerc having taken penalties more recently than Latifi. There's a slightly better engine. Gearbox here is a little bit more worn than I would like. Yeah, now we can move on to qualifying. And final run of Q3. Off we go. Currently fourth and fifth. Maybe something got in Leclerc's way on his first run. Uh, Verstappen spins. And as the checkered flag comes out, Verstappen does not group Latifi. Didn't it? Improve there. I'm not sure if somebody got in his way as well. Fifth place. Claire really trying to push him all the way here. Drivers are strapping themselves in. Hmm. This is interesting. Strategy options. It's interesting. We may split the strategies here and go with the one stop for Leclerc and two for Latifi. Leclerc starting first and Latifi starting fifth. The standings are um, Latifi is 19 points ahead in the in the drivers championship so Leclerc needs to finish at least second. Second with fastest lap would get in 19 um, with Latifi out of the points. If Latifi wins, uh, if, if Latifi finishes six or higher then he will be champion and if Leclerc finishes outside of uh, the top two, he, again, Latifi will be champion. So it's still possible, still all to play for in this final race at Abu Dhabi. Are we going to see controversy here again at this, at this circuit? Well, we're about to find out. Let's go. Hold on tight. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Lights out, and away we go. Head down. Copy. And Latifi are immediately losing a place and fighting for it with Alonso. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Well, it looks like Alonso will make it stick. He is on the soft tyre here. Keep going. And yes, he does get past, so sixth place for Latifi. Fighting back, though. Alpine just advanced. And he can... He can show um, Alonso on one soft. There's quite a few soft tyre runners here, starting on some new softs. Claire, though. Let's see if we can just open up a little bit of a gap before DRS kicks in, which will be in a moment. He's got eight tenths, nine tenths on Verstappen. A 
on the medium tyre, which he needs to make last one and a half seconds on Verstappen, then gets out of DRS range as it gets switched on. And Latifi's still at the back of Alonso here. He should pick up some DRS right now. And Alonso more than one second to Perez, so he will not have DRS, but he does keep Latifi at bay as he gets a second helping of DRS. Will he get past this time? No, not this time. So Verstappen then fighting with Hamilton. He's allowing Leclerc to get away 2.2 seconds in the lead as Latifi again has a look at Alonso. And who gets DRS here? Alonso gets DRS. Just has his... Just... Uh, TV does eventually get past Alonso, gets the DRS on that second DRS zone, which is nice, uh, gives him a bit of space. And Latifi then closes up on the back of Perez. get past here now on this straight with the DRS no not this time but we'll get another helping of DRS in a moment as he makes the move tries to go around the outside Perez though fighting it all the way Does get past, but then unfortunately locks up as he goes okay. on in the final corner. Oh, big lock up there! Yeah, and loses place. five seconds. And now we've stayed out an extra couple of laps with Latifi. We will bring him in now for the hards. So there was a crash. Coffee. And a crash, no safety car. Uh, as Verstappen makes his pit stop. Well, as does Perez. Should Leclerc respond? Or does he wait that extra lap? As planned, he has enough of a cushion to just relax stick to the plan so Latifi makes his pit stop comes out in fifth place it's as you were Claire pitting this lap with a 26 second lead Hamilton who pitted slightly early comes out ahead of Verstappen but Stappen takes that place back and he's fine Latifi comfortable where he is sixth is enough for him Sunoda does pit and we have a safety car could we do we have another set of hearts we don't but could he get onto the, the mediums at this point? Is it too early? I think it's too early, isn't it? Could he actually make the hard 
could actually make the hard tire last. Hmm, what about going for mediums? Or do we just stick with where we're at? So we're going to get bunched up to the interval here. We could make a free pit stop. Let's go for it. Risky. Risky. Let's go for it. Let's pit this lap. Safety car in this lap. Copy. Charge button off. Copy. No lift off needed. You are doing a good job. Okay. Let's bring that back. It's a normal, normal running and... Here we go with the safety car restart. And... Alonso then decides to pit. At this point. Way down there. Let's just chill here for a moment. Right, the gap opens up behind. And we are nicely close to the back of Perez. On better tyre. He also gets DRS to Hamilton. Oh, that is close. Don't like that. Push with the fuel and use the ERS in a moment as Hamilton comes into the pits Looks like there's been a lock up. and Perez locks up Let's take a closer look. We're just watching the to let I see in the final corner same place as Latifi and Sonoda did which just lets Latifi go through in third place then and Alonso spins. He's having a terrible race. And that lock up for Perez really puts him a long way down in 10th place. And we can relax here, I think. Just chill. As it stands, it will be an 8 point victory. 16 laps to go. The GOAT. Nicholas Latifi is currently third but only needs to finish six or better to secure the driver's championship and be crowned world champion. Leclerc doing everything he can to win. It's not in his hands. And DRS is disabled. DRS disabled. And five laps. Safety car deployed. Safety five laps to go. Deployed. And we've got a safety car. A safety like car a at the end and one lap of racing. Safety car in this, safety lap. Car in this lap, so that will be two laps. Um, and Hamilton may overtake Latifi here. He's uh, very close, slightly better tyres. Um, normal racing is resumed. Then it will be two laps. Hamilton behind. It's right on board with Hamilton. See if he's going to go go for anything. Uh, we actually need to move. <laughs> we nearly uh... can push with the fuel actually. 
As with the clock. Oh. Look, we're going to crash into the back of him. Take him out. So, very close at the end here, but not a lot happening as we enter now the last lap. We have to ride on board with the goat, don't we? I mean, this is how you. Uh, these are the lines you've got to take. I mean, well, that's how you do it. Um, enough of a distance to Hamilton. I don't think he's going to overtake. We're not going to get any DRS here. of a procession really at the end of this race is there going to be any last minute drama look at that that's how it's done the last few last few corners now Attempt fate. What kind of line was that? Where was the apex? As Latifi comes around the last corner and checkered flag. flag. Leclerc wins in Abu Dhabi, but Nicholas Latifi finishes third and wins is today's winner. wins the drivers' championship. Champion. The goat. Well, this Amazing. was definitely Charles Leclerc's weekend. Both Ferrari drivers up on the podium, first and third. A great end to the season. What a beautiful win! Both is on the podium, and a true crowning achievement for everyone involved. Wouldn't be it? Wouldn't be uh, you celebrating there, would it? But there we go. Come on. There he is. What a treat this is for the Tifosi. The Ferrari driver rewarding their fans with a podium to be proud of. Any mention of the um, championship there? Yeah, I'm gonna... It was a hard fought contest for all three drivers. Each one securing precious points for their team. Ferrari had a very good race, proving they're definitely a team to contend with. Not bad at all. The team Come in the on. pit will be happy with that. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. And that's good. it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. Yeah, not great commentary there, but Latifi does what is required, does what is needed. There wins the Drivers' Championship by nine points. Constructors' Championship one. Long way. Ferrari. That's it. You've, you've just got to. You've just got to hire Latifi's. You know, it's not Binotto. It's not your strategies. Get rid of. Get rid of science. Sign Latifi. How much does it cost us? Like 36 million or something like that to break the contracts and get him in? It's a bargain. Let's go through here and let's have a look to see what happens. The, I'm speechless. The goat is thanking me. Uh, Latifi thanks me for helping me, helping him get to Drivers' Championship win. Well, it, it was all you. It was all you, Latifi. Congratulations for winning the Constructors' Championship and Nicholas Latifi wins Drivers' Championship. Board review. Drivers' Championship won first place. Fantastic. Constructors' Championship won first place. End of season board review. Objectives all completed. New season objective first or above. You know, 
you're going to finish above first, really. That is it. I hope you've uh, if you've enjoyed this series, please do uh, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, yeah, let us know what you think. Was that ever really in doubt? I mean, here's the goat. We all knew it. We've proved it. That is that is it. That is what Ferrari need to do. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this this series. So um, you know, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for whatever else I have in, in the future. You know, perhaps it might be the next F1 manager game, or I'll probably get back on with the uh, the Williams career. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thanks thanks for watching.